Now, we are on episode 5. So, in the past episode, we discussed all of this. So, now it's time to teach you how to compute this present value of 1 and with the due factor here using both the scientific and the basic calculators. But that would be next after the short intro. So, let's start with the usage of scientific calculators, okay? So, again, the first step is to type or encode this whole numerator first. So, in this case, we have 1 minus 1.12 raised to the power of negative 2, okay? So, type that here, and then, after that, step 2, press equals, and you will get this, okay? Next step is you need to press the ANS button, which is again this one. And then divide it with 0.12 or 12%, which is this one. And then press equals button again. And you will get this 1.69005 and so on. So, after that, step 5 is press the ANS button again and add it with 1. So, this one is from here, okay? And then press equals as the last step. And you will get this 2.69005102020 and so on. Which is the factor that we are looking for. And that's it. That is how you compute the Anwitiju factor in a scientific calculator. Now, let's go to the using of the basic calculators. So, if you only have basic calculators, so first, before we talk about the steps, please focus first on answering this. So, this 1 plus i raised to the power of negative n plus 1. Okay? So, please ignore this 1 minus here, and this denominator, and this plus 1 here. Okay? So, in this case, we have 1.12 raised to the power of negative 2. So, step 1, type in 1.12, which is the 1 plus the interest, right? And then, step 2, press the divide button twice. And again, this is done to let the calculator know that you are computing for the present value. And then, next is step 3. You need to press the equals button twice. Because the end that we have here is 2. And remember... This step 3 is done to enter the n or the number of years or number of periods, okay? So, if you press the equals button once, you will get this. And when you press it twice, you will get this. So, this 0.79719387 is the resulting factor of this 1.12 raised to the power of negative 2. Now, let's move forward. The fourth step is to deduct 1 from this 1, and it will result to this. So again, the result will be negative, because again, what you did is 1.12 raised to the power of negative 2 minus 1, instead of 1 minus 1.12 raised to the power of negative 2. Okay? So the question is, can we fix this? Yes, of course. So, you just have to press this plus and minus button here. And then, the negative symbol here will become positive. And of course, from what you did here, it will now be transformed to this one, which is the right one. Okay? Now, moving on. Let's go to the next step. Since we already got this numerator, now it's time to divide it with the interest rate or the 0.12 in this formula. And we will get this 1.69005120. And let's go to the last step, which is to add this one here. And we will get this, which is the one that we are looking for. So that's the last tutorial on how to use the scientific and the basic calculators in getting the present value factors. 
In the next episode, we will be talking about some other twists that you need to know related to the present value, of course, of debt and receivables. Before we go to accounting topics that can only be fully understood if you master all the concepts and the computation of present value. So that's it for this video. And if you learned, please click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and select all to be updated on my next videos. You can also comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.